Hello. Lately, I've been making a game from your comments. I wanted to make the game that when you click the button, it'll make one of your comments come to life. That way, it actually runs like an actual game, and it's not just a bunch of random stuff in just like a base plate world. Bruh. So, the first comment stated, Idea. When you press the button, a clone of it appears, except the duplicate's button button is gold yellow. And each time the player presses it, it changes position. After 10 pushes, the players or users, the user who pressed it, last gets the reward. Sorry for the bad grammar, it wasn't the best of grammar in that post, but anyways, that's what I wanted to get done because it was a really good idea. So, I got to work and everything went well, I coded everything myself, and then I came into a big error. I wanted to make it so that when you press the button, the last person to press the button will get a sword into their inventory. The only problem was that it wasn't actually working. So, I went over to my trusty Discord server and I asked, Why does this not work? Luckily, within like 5 minutes, I already had an army of scripters to my aid. They solved the problem really quickly and now it works. So, now when you press the button, it'll spawn a clone of it and then it'll keep spawning clones until it hits the 7th button push and then you get a sword. The last person to touch it gets a sword, and that's about it. It would be cool if you added an alien invasion event, and one random player gets killed. So, that's what I did. I modeled a simple alien flying saucer thing. Doesn't look great, but I mean, it does the job, I guess. If you want to model it for me, uh, be my guest. I coded it so that when the event starts, the flying saucers will spawn in different locations, and then the aliens will drop out of them. And you basically have 30 seconds until it ends, and you have to see if you can survive. I will say though, I did not actually code the alien itself, that's a bit too advanced for me, but everything else I did myself. You should subscribe. You know, I think you should do that too. Subscribe right now or I'll- Anyways, next comment. Make a tactical nuke. That, I can do. First, I modeled this epic looking nuke thing, and good to go. Then I made it so that when it hits something, it'll explode. I don't know why the explosion is so low key. I would really like it to be really, really big. Now, when you press the button, a nuke falls from the sky and you pretty much can't survive it. At least I haven't figured out how to survive it. 